No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey everyone, I'm Micah with No Film School. We are here with Jeremy at Atmos, and we're going to check out the new Inferno, Shogun Inferno, and talk about the updates to the uh, existing line of products that they have. When we first started to record, CRTs were only capable of displaying a, a very narrow um, brightness range. So all the standards, Rec 709, the brightness standard and the color standard were all based around that limitation it's of the very CRT, old. very old. And we've all the panels and all of the LCDs and all of the recording has all been Rec. 709 since then. Well, log from the sensor, the log from the sensor is all about the dynamic range, increasing that dynamic range, increasing the brightness range being able to be captured has been improving in sensors for many, many years. But we still are in Rec. 709. So in order to display that or look at it, there was no way to do that. All you had to do was then choose Rec. 709 and choose which part of the dynamic range you wanted to keep, either the high end or the black sections. So it was really a compromise, a big compromise. Rec. 709 was a big compromise. However, now that we've got the dynamic range increased from the sensors, then it begs the question, why aren't we utilizing that? And the TV manufacturers are now at a point where they can release bright, a wider brightness range. And what, what, what is the effect? It looks like what you see as a person. But then what Atomus yeah. has done is, is invented the Atom HDR engine, which, and the reason we can do this is we control every part of this equation. We make the panel engine, we control the input, we, we work with the camera makers on their log curve algorithms to make sure that we're representing the image accurately, and we control all the ecosystem right to the ProRes finish. And remember, log is HDR, HDR is log, you need log from your camera. The beauty is almost everybody has a log camera these yeah, days. Everything's log. Canon, Sony, Pana, JVC, Arri, Red, the list goes on. They've all got log and we support them all. The industrial design is m way more robust. These are silicon pads on the, on the side, so if you do drop it, you're not gonna break the screen. So these are some of the design improvements. We have a line on the waveform that shows you where Rec. 709 is clipping. So everything above this line, we are not displaying. So you're getting like... Everything like under this line, we are displaying. So I'm blowing out all these white areas. It's a real nightmare, right? So if we go into the monitoring section, so you'd go in and you turn on your waveform. Very important. Then you come in and my native source video is log. The log looks all washed out like normal. If I, traditionally I would change that to Rec. 709 using a LUT. That's what that would look like. But when I go to Atom HDR, there's a slider. I'm right down the SDR end right now. Watch this line. And this tells you exactly what's going on. The more I go to HDR, the line goes up. I represent more of the brightness range that's in this image on the screen. And guess what? You can get all of it. It's starting to look like it looks like here. You can see that I've got all of these details. I've got the highlights, I've got the blacks, I've got everything that I need, and I'm very comfortable that I'm shooting pretty much what I'm seeing. So then you look at this, you look at that, you adjust the slider, the HDR slider, well, it shows you how many stops above Rec. 709 you are, two stops. I'm 400% I'm of Rec. 709 is about the right area. So you just adjust for whatever camera you got. But at, HDR is the future, man. You can see the difference, right. right? Between your washed out image on a normal monitor and this richness of brightness and detail, which is what we actually see in yeah, real life. And you're able to record 4K. Uh, yep, 4K, right 4K 60p on the Inferno and on the Flame series, it's 4K 30p and HD 120. There's a there's a lot of um, higher frame rate stuff in in um, and you can do 240 HD on the Inferno. And, and when is, is this available now? Yeah, it's available now. We've been Great. shipping for about three weeks. Um, sold out, <laughs> I mean, from us out to the channel. Um, I think all, almost all of those are sold out. Like we've had to up production. Right. It's been right a, quite a massive pickup nice. globally. Um, and I think NAB is gonna spark that for the US even more. What kind of cars does this take? So this takes a, an SSD, okay, um, which is a, a SanDisk or a Transcend yeah. or, or 
we've got a list of drives on our on our website. Very affordable. Yeah. We give you the caddy. We give you everything in the box for the price. The Ninja Flame is twelve nine five. The Shogun Flame is sixteen nine five, and the Inferno, which is the Big Daddy, is nineteen nine five. They all do the same HDR, and we had a massive announcement yesterday that we are giving HDR to all of our previous products, right. except for Ninja Two. All right, so we're here checking out the. Ninja Blade, which came out three years ago and is being updated with the new Atom HDR system. So um, show us show us how this works. Okay, so I've got my aperture wide open, so I'm now capturing all the dynamic range from here. And if I, now I've got my Rec 709 button, if I go Atom HDR, then I start to, you can start to pop those highlights more. And I've got the same kind of slider that I had there, so I can adjust this until it looks like what I'm looking at, which I think is probably about there. And you can see that my whites are really stark, and now I can expose properly. And if I, if I go down or up in, then I, you know, I can make sure that I'm capturing the right amount of dynamic range. See, that's too dark, right? But I want it right open, and then I want to adjust this down so it looks like. Then I'm capturing everything in that, in that brightness curve. Um, if I then turn that off, you can see I'm much flatter. Right. If I turn it on. I'm looking like I'm look, seeing here. Right, right. If I look at those two things, I'm happy that they look very similar. Much more shadow detail. Yeah. Which means I've exposed correctly for this shot. And I'm, wow. and that will allow you, see I'm two stops over Rec. 709, 400%. So I'm, I'm displaying about eight stops on this panel. Great, and so that's firmware coming in May. Coming in May, free. <laughs> free firmware. Free for coming everybody. In May. Atomos, NAB 2016. And if, and if you buy a Ninja Blade, which is 495 or a Samurai Blade, obviously from now, then you get HDR. So that if you're just shooting HD, yeah. it's a compelling story. 5Ds, C100s, FS7s, FS700, those kind of cameras, go for it. Right on. Cool. Well, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, Cheers, awesome man. stuff. Love No Film School. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice.